Let's make a checkbox control dashboard in Excel in three minutes. You check the box for whichever metric you want to see. So let's insert a chart. We need to do a combo chart. Make sure that there are numbers across the right side. Remove the title. Now we need to add this if statement because this is actually what is controlling your chart. So if the cell B2 is true or checked by the box, then you need to get all of the values in the quantity column. So then repeat that step or just drag it over to the right. Now let's add a title. We wanna make this look nice and make it make sense. So we'll just call it a sales and margin dashboard. You can highlight those and merge and center and let's make that much bigger, bold, and then let's turn it a light gray so it really stands out. Speaking of standing out, let's change the background on our graph. So we'll right click on that and then we'll change the fill to a light gray, but it already did it. So let's just close that. And then we need to also format the right axis. We want the number to be percentage. So change that and then close it and now you've got it. We also don't need to look at this formula anymore, so we're gonna turn that white. And next we need the actual checkboxes. So developer tab, insert a checkbox. You need to draw these in. I'm trying to draw them in as centered as possible, but you can move them if needed. So we're gonna put the middle one here and right click and then you can delete the text that's in there and let's name these accordingly. So the first one is quantity, the second one is sales, and the third one is going to be labeled margin. Now, if you notice when you're done with this and you check these boxes, they don't do anything. So you need to right click on these and format control and you have to actually link these cells or these check boxes to cells. So we're gonna click on the little arrow and then quantity is going to be B2 right click on sales, repeating the step, and this one is going to be C2, and then margin is going to be D2. So again, we're repeating the exact same step, clicking on the little arrow, and hit OK. Now it says true because the checkbox is marked, so that looks great, but we don't wanna see those words, so let's turn them white. So we're gonna go up to font and then turn that white. And now if you right click on these and add a data label, you can go in here and move these wherever you want. You can format them. I accidentally just grabbed one, so let's redo that. So we grab all of them. If we move some of them, we want them all to move together, most likely. So let's move those to center. And then we also wanna add data labels to our margin line. So let's right click on that and then do the exact same thing with adding data labels. And then you can also change the color of these we can try something like white just to test it out and see what it looks like. That might be a little difficult to see. You may want to leave it black, but if you test this out and check the boxes, you can see what you need.